man, them people love me, man. They love me because I went, I helped them, man. I talked to them. Everybody wins. It's beautiful. So this house right here on the right with the red tag on it, there is a long story behind that. I had to go in front of city council and everything on this house. But this house, right, the owners are deaf here. So he was a hardworking guy, man, and he ended up buying another house. So he wanted to use this as an investment property. He had uh, bought this house in 1994, so he owned it outright. So this one didn't have any debt. This is why I want to show you guys this house. It didn't have any debt on it, but I made 13,000. This is a great neighborhood. It's God's country. So they know it's hard to get houses out here. So there was a uh, lady that was buying it from him on contract. Her boyfriend was a contractor, apparently. So a realtor hooked up with the, the lady that's buying it on contract and her boyfriend. The realtor was gonna put up the money to buy all the materials to fix it up. And uh, the contractor was gonna use sweat equity. He was gonna put the work in and, and repair it. So she gives him $10,000 to go buy the stuff. Soon as he got that 10,000, he took off. So she put a lien on the property though. She put a mechanics lien on the contract buyer for $10,000. Well, the city was gonna demolish this place too because it had been on the red tag list. So that red tag there doesn't matter anymore because I took their ass to task on it. But they were gonna demolish it and if they would have demolished it, they would have put a $10,000 lien on the house that the deaf couple lives in now. They would have been like screwed, man. Yeah, and nobody, like they couldn't communicate because they were deaf, you know what I mean? And nobody tried. Man, them people love me, man. They love me because I went, Um, I, I helped them, man. I talked to them, I, man, I helped them. So anyway though, I got a buyer. My buyer is a contractor, all right? He bought this place. I gave these people $10 for this house, 10 bucks. I got the deed, man. I sold it for $13,785. Now, the reason why the number was that though, I was gonna uh, use some of that money to negotiate that $10,000 lien that the realtor put on here, okay? So I call the realtor and I say, hey, I got a buyer for this place, but there's no money in it if we pay you $10,000 for that lien that you have. So can we give you 5,000? Because you can negotiate a lien. She was on vacation in New Orleans. She was like, I don't even need the money. So tell your buyer to come back to me when he's serious. I was like, damn, all right, you know. I said, all right, you know, I don't, I don't know if we will because you know, 10,000, we're not gonna make any money. So she ain't got bad legal advice though. I find out later, this is why you want to know this industry. I find out later that when you run a forfeiture on a person that is buying a house on contract, it's super easy to get your house back, but if they have gotten any liens on that house while they were buying the house on contract, that lien goes with them and it's not on the house anymore. So we run a forfeiture process orders. The realtor must've heard about it now. So now she knows she's not getting nothing. Oh, I was gonna give you 5,000, but you got greedy. Now you're not getting nothing. Man, she had the nerve to call me and ask me if I still want to give her $5,000. Why would I do that? I, now I know that I don't have to give you anything. So I said, well, let me ask my buyer if he wants to give you $5,000 for free. All right. So she, know, yeah, that's what I said to her too, man. So, you know, sometimes you get to put people in their place, man. It's beautiful. So that's how that went, guys. Dad, it was great, man. That couple loves me. They weren't ruined financially. And my buyer, my buyer got to buy this house. He's fixing it up. And he, when he retires, he's going to make passive income off this house. Everybody wins. In my opinion, I think you're dope, man. So genuine, so real. And it's like, it, it wasn't uppity. You didn't have a stick up. You just kept real. And I could relate to you and your story. And with some of the tools and some of the encouragement that you gave off, I can apply that to regular life, man. So I was literally, and I'm not exaggerating, on the front row, I start thinking about how I can apply some of the things that you shared with us to other aspects of life. It was just amazing, man. It was worth it.